Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes, and we're going to do a quick Batman 62 review. Uh, I'm not really the biggest uh, fan of Tom King's Batman, but uh, Mitch Ger Gerrits always brings it with the art. It's always been top-notch, and this issue is no exception. So it starts out here with the cover, and uh, you see this nightmare picture with a man in a pig mask and a meat cleaver. There's this blood splatter outline of Batman. And uh, he's saying, little bat, little bat, let me in. Just terrifying. And then we get to the first page, and Batman's kind of out of it, and he's opening his eyes. He's not sure where he is. Doesn't know how he got there, and he's seeing a little vision of the man in the pig mask. And then we see the, the exact scenario. Batman's hung upside down in a slaughterhouse next to, next to some pig carcasses. As this guy is like high stepping down like a bloody floor with a big knife in his hand and some gloves and a smock on. Just really great art. It's just awesome. And then you, you see like the, the part in the fore, foreground that's like blurred out. It really gives it a lot of depth. Man, Mitch Garrett's really brought in this. This, this is excellent. So it, it just gets more more terrifying as, as the book goes along and the... And the visuals are just just scary as hell, to be completely honest. And uh, you see Batman's covered in blood, and he's realizing he's got blood dripping down his nose. He's trying to concentrate, thinking about how he's going to get out of it. And there's really no dialogue in this uh, entire book until the very end. There's a couple of uh, sentences, but almost everything's inner monologue. And then at one point... Uh, it's Tom King, so I had to throw in some some poetry or something, which uh, which unnecessary if you ask me, but it sets a good tone. Like I said, the visuals on this are just crazy scary. So here on the next page, Batman's starting to escape, and you can you can see his perspective. the The man in the pig mask is upside down when he starts, and he head butts him, and he's breaking out his batarangs. Uh, trying to gain his bearings and escape. And here we see the, the pig man's kind of crawling away on this bloody floor. There's blood everywhere. Batman's jumping through the air. and He, uh, he takes his eye off the prize and takes this knife right to the solar plexus. <laughs> Just brutal stuff. Yeah, if you like nightmare, like art, this is... Oh man, this is really good. So this is the last one I'm going to show you. Like I said, the, the art in this is really great. It's amazing. It's scary as hell. I mean, wrap up the the best illustrated uh, book of 2019. It's already been taken by Mitch Garretts. Because this, oh, it's excellent. But this is what I'm talking about. The stuff that from Tom King that I don't like. Look at look at all this inner dialogue. So much of it. It, it detracts from the picture. It kind of detracts from the story. Uh, I honestly think this book probably should have been like a silent issue with some inner monologue and the couple of uh, lines at the end. Uh, if that's what this was, I would say this was easily a 5 out of 5. I think the art it was amazing. Uh, really stellar work here, but I do think the, um, the amount of inner monologue detract from the story, so... I don't know, I'll give it a 3.5, verging on a 4, because the art's that good. Of course, that's my opinion. Tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Do you think the art wasn't as good as I say? Did you like the inner monologue and the writing from Tom King? You know, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications for future reviews and commentary. Uh, you can always follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC, or you can email me at WesDigsComics at gmail.com if you want to get a hold of me and talk about comics. Uh, with that, it's Salamat Poe, and I'm out.